It's a widely accepted fact that Korean cars are worthy competitors on the modern automotive arena that possess proven reliability, rich technical characteristics, and affordable prices. The same description could be applied to their electric cars as well. Let's explore those EVs produced on the peninsula that are already in production, plus those upcoming models based on the exciting electric car concepts. Support the development of EVS by subscribing to our channel, like this episode, and let's get technical. Without a doubt, this is one of the most desirable electric crossovers currently on sale, and its single competitor is the similarly specced corporate sibling, Kia e Nero. Previously offered in a 39 kilowatt hour battery variant, the Kona has dropped the more affordable version and now gets equipped only with a 64 kilowatt hour pack good for 258 miles. There are three trim levels, SEL, Limited, and Ultimate. The lower end model gets full smartphone connectivity, 7 inch infotainment, and safety assists. While going up the price ladder, you can get 8 way adjustable power seats, leather seating, LED lights, head-up display, and a larger 10.25-inch display. Kia is aiming at creating a whole new class of vehicles with the futuristic compact crossover labeled as the ECEV or Everything Car Electric Vehicle. The Habanero should feel comfortable on the narrow city streets and at the same time be able to drive off the pavement onto the remote trails with ease. Powered by two motors, it possesses all-wheel drive capability with the range of up to 300 miles. This thing is packed with yet unseen high-tech, like touchscreen with sensory light feedback, real-time emotion-adaptive driving, and technical option sharing system that allows to customize the head-up display. It also features a perimeter ventilation system that quietly and evenly blows a curtain of air to create a perfect cabin. Originally intended to go on sale all around the world by 2020, the second-generation Kia Soul EV has been now delayed to the 2021 model year across many markets, including the U.S., due to battery supply shortages. The upcoming car boasts some serious powertrain updates, which almost double its previous range, battery capacity, and power output. It features a 200-horsepower motor paired to a liquid-cooled 64-kilowatt-hour battery pack that supports level 3 DC fast charging. With this powertrain and upgraded 4-mode regenerative braking system, the Soul should be good to travel for 243 miles. It also demonstrates much improved acceleration and performance, sprinting from 0 to 60 in 7.2 instead of 11.2 seconds. Internal combustion technology will not go out without a fight. So make sure to support the development of electric cars by liking this video. Watch this episode till the end and spread the word about awesome EVs. Let's proceed. Already labeled by the media as the baby Porsche, the Prophecy concept previews the new generation of Hyundai's electric vehicles. Designed with aerodynamics in mind, the stylish four-door has perfect proportions. While its simple and pristine forms expand the brand's sensuous sportiness design philosophy, the Prophecy is claimed to take full advantage of the EV platform it's built on, though no performance numbers of the model are released yet. Instead, we know that it's an autonomous vehicle that can be operated using two joysticks instead of a steering wheel. Its interior is performed using eco-friendly materials, with clean air technology providing a steady stream of purified air for the occupants.
Facelifted only a year after its market debut, the all-electric Nero arrives with restyled headlights and new rear LEDs. The model gets two trim levels, EX and EX Premium, with a new 8-inch and 10.25-inch infotainment systems, respectively. The drivetrain setup is represented by a 201-horsepower electric motor and 64-kilowatt-hour lithium-ion polymer battery. The model offers up to 239 miles of driving on a charge, 53 cubic feet of cargo capacity, and gets an ample collection of safety features. In Europe, the crossover is also available in a less powerful version, juiced by 39 kilowatt hour battery and 136 horsepower motor. Since it's not been confirmed for production yet, for now, the Mint concept previews the brand's new design approach that can be described as clean, minimalistic, and forward-looking. The all-electric city car has two regular doors for two passengers, while its rear cargo area can be accessed via previously unseen tiny gullwing doors. Genesis does not tell us the quantity and capacity of Mint's motors, but claims a maximum range of 200 miles. Its cabin features cognac-colored leather upholstery and an innovative steering wheel-mounted driver's info screen that's aided by six mini displays on the sides. On sale since 2017, the Ionic Electric was the brand's first mass-production electric car. In 2020, it arrives sporting a number of visual upgrades and powertrain enhancements. On the outside, the new design headlights, DRLs, and 16-inch wheels are now available, while the cabin updates focus on the restyled dashboard, new touch controls for the heating and air conditioning, plus the improved 7-inch infotainment. Chasing more range, the Ionic gets 38 kilowatt hour battery, representing a 36% increase in capacity, which translates to 170 miles of driving range. It also comes with a more powerful motor, making 134 instead of 120 horses. Rumored for a market release in 2021, the Essentia is the brand's first high-performance coupe that's also powered by electricity. The model has a grand tourer profile with stunning scissor doors and a 2 plus 2 layout. It sits on a carbon fiber monocoque chassis, plus most of the bodywork is also made of carbon fiber. Genesis does not disclose the power and battery output of the GT, but promises that it will come with a complex setup of multiple electric motors and a centrally mounted battery. The expected 0 to 60 acceleration is pegged at 3 seconds. What are your thoughts about the presented lineup of electric vehicles? Which model is your favorite and why? Your feedback is absolutely crucial, so don't hesitate to share with us in the comments section. 
Subscribe to the channel, ring the notification bell, and smash that like button before you go. See you later.